Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Hi, Sarah. good evening. Hello, Brandy. Hello, Karen. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm very good, but yeah. in this moment I have a uh, clear cold. cold. Oh, yeah, a cold. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Roberto. Hey, how you doing, teacher? Very good, thank you. Yes, yeah. and, um, and hello, Andrea. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? I can yes. hear you. Yes, okay. I can hear you perfectly. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, hello, Nidia. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. I am working. Oh, you're working? Yes. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. All right. Um, so is everybody okay? No problems by your house? Everything's all right? Yes? It's all good. With a okay. little bit of raining, but all good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately, that's that's kind of life right now. Um, okay. Is everything okay by, like, um, no, it hasn't... Uh, been too difficult around your house? No, like, um, you know, very bad things have happened around your house? No, it's all okay? Relatively speaking? <laughs> okay. Everything's okay. Thank okay. Good, what about good. you? Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, over here, there's no problem. <laughs> Okay. Um, all right, guys and girls. So we're going to start uh with our class. So I told you guys that we were going to be talking a little bit about rites of passages, and we were going to be sharing some experiences. Do you guys remember this? Yeah, we were talking about Saint Stephen. Mm hmm exactly yeah so what I want you to do is I want you to think about from these rites of experiences what have been uh your the most important ones for you okay which ones have been the most important ones don't don't tell me just just think about them um I want you to choose the top three that have been like the most important for you. Okay. You have it? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay, good. What I want you to do right now is I want you now we're going to put put you guys into breakout rooms and I'm going to ask you guys to uh, share your experiences with your group. I'm not going to put you into big groups. I'm going to make it maybe groups of about three or something. Okay, and then um, uh, you guys can share your experiences. Um, you can, you know, for example, uh, what was your first day of school like? I remember my first day of school um, was when I went to kindergarten. And um, I remember there was a, one of my friends uh, or she was in, she was older than me. She was probably 
about three years older. And um, she's when she uh, when she saw me coming to the school, she's like, "Oh yes, you should you should be in this in this classroom." So, um, but I wasn't supposed to be in that classroom, but they ended up um, leaving me there because that was the pl first place that I had gone to, and they I remember that um, all the other students they were um they had already started school so i was it was hard for me because i had to catch up um you know and, and yeah it, it was like i had to meet new people and it was it was a little traumatizing for me so you guys can share your experiences in your in your groups all right so any one of these experiences all right, are we clear on the instructions? Yeah, yeah everything is clear. Okay, perfect. So let's uh, make breakout rooms. Like I said, I'm not gonna make you guys into um, big groups. Okay, and I'll give you about five minutes. So it's not gonna be long, okay? Here we go. Let's open the rooms. Oh, sí. right. <risa> de lo que más nos pareció, o sea, de lo que sí, más, no algún todo, recuerdo todo, o algo de las cosas que ella había puesto en la lista. Por eso, Liz. Pero es de las, las edades, según las edades que estaba ahí, cuando joven, cuando niño, según conforme es. She, she was, uh, she left a list that we can find one of them that we can use it for it. For example, uh, becoming a parent or the our first job or that exactly that one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to choose the one that is. Uh, most the ones that let, let's say the, the the ones that have impacted your life the most okay 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 i got the screenshot teacher okay perfect um, well, so I choose one. I don't remember that like was yesterday, but uh, it will be my first job. Uh, was like uh, I was twenty seven at the time, and uh, I was studying the uh, hairstyle. And someone from that uh from a company called me and told me oh you're good so we want you here and whatever and um, i started working there and it was good because I, I i gained a lot of experience and um, i was so nervous at, uh, at first but then i started to work uh, real good and i became a boss so it was good Okay, in my case, me too. I remember when I was my first job. I I have my first job when I have 
20 years old. Uh, I remember my hands very, very cool. And my legs, my leg is very, how do you say temblar? Me temblaban las piernas. How do my legs were shaking. Shaking. My, my, my leg. My legs were shaking. My legs were shaking. And my the first days. Uh, I remember was terrible. Uh, uh, the other the other event I was remember I remember when I was my first baby when I had my first baby mm, that's all Well, in my case, I don't remember my first birthday and my first haircut, <laughs> neither my first day of school. I was so baby, two years old when I was, when I went to school in, ¿cómo se llama? Se llama Primaternal y tenía dos años y no me acuerdo nada. Eh, confirmation, I didn't do my, I didn't do confirmation. My bad, bad is my bautismo, right? Or no? ¿Qué significa, teacher? What does it mean? Bad meets good, bad? The so what? Oh, uh, bar mitzvah. Uh, the bar mitzvah is, is, um, it's a, it's a Jewish celebration. Oh. Mm -hmm. And Suter 16. No, I hadn't. In my first year, I, I'm studying. <laughs> and my high school tradition is on December. Así que no. And that's all. Well, uh, my teacher, this was not it wasn't my first haircut but i remember once my mom used to cut my hair and she loves uh to cut it uh really short and i really hate that so i i remember once i asked her to cut my hair and i got it i have it like had it like uh it was uh, under my elbows and she um because she loves the that that style she cut it uh pretty 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 short and i remember that <laughs> at the end she asked me uh, about uh she was like uh ah, sorry excuse me i i didn't want it to 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 make you cry because i start crying and it was it was uh a really really sad for me because um my hair uh, is not like it it grows easily so i got i i it passed like around six months i think to got it la that large so i that length so i i well i start crying and i i uh, can, equivocar? Yeah, that's the reason that we are here. If you start talking in Spanish, it's like, uh, nah, what is the reason? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I put on nervous, <laughs> nervous. I feel nervous. Uh, I'm feeling it. Or I, I feel, feel I, I feel, feel Yes. I'm feeling, like, como estoy sintiendo ahorita en este momento. I'm feeling this moment <laughs> i felt in uh, pasado i feeling okay 
Well, I, in my case. Sorry. Yeah. Do, you guys uh, need more time? Yeah, no, it's okay. They Are you sure? It. Yeah. You sure? Okay. All right. Um. Okay. So I'm gonna return to the. I'm gonna return everybody to the main room. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, everybody's finished. Would somebody like to share their story with the class? Anybody would like to share their story? Come on, guys. Yeah. That's I, a big thing. I can share. My, <laughs> Wonderful. Great, is Eduardo. My experience, mm -hmm. I was about in my first day of high school. Mm -hmm. And I told uh, I, I told to my classmate that that is my oldest memory that I have. Yeah. It was when I was. It happened when I was uh, four years old, and it was uh, not traumatic, but like another uh, children when they come come to the kindergarten. I was crying and mm -hmm. I was sad because uh, I don't know. I they separate to me from my mom. Oh and yeah. But uh, my mom uh, is a teacher, so I remember that she worked in the same place. But um, yeah, it, it was cool because I started to talk with the, with the other children around mm -hmm. her and just that, you know, I don't know. It, it wasn't so traumatic. Oh, good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. Anybody else want to share? Yeah, will be one. Okay, go for it. One of my best experience or something that made me feel happy when I when I came to San Salvador and I live alone. Because my mom for me forced me to do something that I wasn't something good. Oh. So that the reason that I had my second name because it's my mom's name. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I I want to tell you because I really hate my second name, really. I hate real and type. If mm -hmm. it is not really Study, I don't going to do it because it's not something that I really made me feel happy. So, mm -hmm. I see. I see. So that was some my experience. Uh, living alone with uh, my mom or my family for me to do something that was really, really bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and well, yeah, just one experience. I had more experience. make me feel strong now but it's like a process it's like uh, when you you buy a like a diamond you know <laughs> yeah to be something uh, beautiful they have a process so that's that was my process and it was really hard 
I see. Have you ever um, thought about like changing your name? Well, I don't know if it is possible here. Um, maybe when I when I move to the United States, maybe mm -hmm. I can change because I only want to use my. It's like a, my name, Brandy Pimentel de Crochet, or just Brandy Crochet, like a. People in the United States use it will be okay, but I, yeah, if could be possible, I want to delete this name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand. Sometimes it happens. Um, yeah, unfortunately, um, yeah, I think in in El Salvador there's only three reasons why you can uh, change your name and. It's probably not really applicable in your plate in your case, and yeah. um, and the other thing is that like you know in Latin America everything that is official has you have to say you know complete names right so it, it's different for example in other countries where you just use your first name and your last name and that's it yeah you right? never like, yeah so um, yeah that's it. But but in in Latin America everything has to be very official and you have to say your complete yeah. name so it's a little yeah. bit difficult it's kind of crazy because some people like have like a three or four of the names it's like a... yeah <laughs> exactly yeah I, I I sometimes have that problem here uh you know um because it, like in my passport I have my two last names right everybody and they're like they don't understand why I have so many names <laughs> so but yeah that's it is what it is yeah it got you wanted to share yeah no it's okay with that okay yes teacher uh good evening everyone uh I was uh, remember with my classmates mm -hmm. uh, a bad experience that I oh. had when I uh, when I start to study in high school, <clears throat> there were two girls that are, they both were like the pretty smart, the, intellect, the intellectuals mm -hmm. in the class. Mm -hmm. I I uh, I remember that when I went to high school, mm -hmm. I won a scholarship. Mm. At that time, we have we had to pay for the enrollment for the whole year. Right. And they look me like a star. They started to me, right? Como mirarme de menos. Oh, they look down at you. Mm -hmm. they yeah, and, down. And, mm -hmm. and, and one day they, they told me, you are going to lose your scholarship, your beca, your beca right? Your scholarship, yes. And Every single day, they had to remember me that I'm going to lose my scholarship. And I, I am a kind of a humble people. I never like to fight with nobody. And I just, I like to be a kind of quiet. Uh -huh. And one day I, I told to both, I, I, I'm not here because I need the money. I'm here because I am intellectual like you mm -hmm. and then i i was remembered when we finished the, the three years of high school i won the first play and both of them were like pretty angry with me that's it okay good job all right excellent yeah and and it's and and it's good. Uh, like sometimes you're right. We we end up having these um, situations where it's uh, you know we're not having a good time. We're we're embarrassed or whatever. But it's important that we you know we we grow and we realize that it's things are okay and that we can stand up for ourselves. That's good. Yeah, exactly. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, guys, um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to be taking attendance. I didn't take it before because I knew that some people were having a bit of trouble uh, connecting. So now that 
we are more of us and I think we are we are who we are going to be during the class. Um, let me take attendance right now. So Andrea Geraldine Sanchez. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Angel Antonio Ramirez Rodriguez. No. Ah, yes, I think he wrote in the chat or something. Uh, Brendan Marilou. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Um, Edgar Abel Tejada Benitez. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Edgar, sorry, uh, no, sorry. Ed, Edson Stanley Her Hernandez Alvarenga. I'm here, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Um, is it possible to turn on the camera just for the attendance? Yes, no problem. I, actually, in this moment, I working. Okay. Okay, I understand. Okay. All right, wonderful. Thank you. Okay. Um, Eduardo Jose Melgar. Sorry, Melgar Melgar. Thank you. Uh, Iliana Janet Alvarado Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. Irma Raquel Garcia de Monterrosa. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Jaime Roberto Aldana Beltran. I'm here. Thank you. I'm here. Joana Yesenia Garcia de Hernandez. I'm here, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Um, Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. Present, teacher. Right. Wonderful. Right. Uh, Marina Stephanie Arevalo Sanchez. I'm here. Thank you. Nidia Esmeralda Marroquín Guevara. Yes, I'm Tisha. Thank you. Um, Reina Elizabeth Guerrero Gaitán. No. Reina Elizabeth. Okay. Uh, Roberto Eduardo Escamilla García. Uh, present teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, Saul Antonio Hernandez Torres. I'm here, teacher. Okay, very good, thank you. Um, Susana Be Beatriz Abre Abrego Blanco. Here. Thank you. Uh, Vanessa Esmeralda Miranda Alparo. Vanessa Esmeralda. Jancy Andrea Melendez May uh, Mayen. Present. Okay, wonderful, thank you. All right, um, and Edgar, Abel, you have a question? No, teacher, I just uh, raised my hand when I were sharing that. Oh. My bad experience. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Se quedó trabadita y la... <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. Okay. All right, guys, let's continue then. Um, we're going to move on. Can you guys see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Teacher. Okay, so here we have a conversation between Alan and Carol. Um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to read the conversation and I'd like you guys to repeat after me, okay? So what were you, what were you like when you were younger? 
So, so what, what were you what like, were you like when, when you were younger? younger? When, you were younger. when I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. When I was when I was kind of I was kind of irresponsible. Good. You really? What made you change? You, you really? What made you change? Graduating from high school. No. Right, graduating from high school. Graduating from high school. High school. What do you mean? What did you mean? What do you mean? Well, until I graduated. Well, until I graduated. I never had any important responsibilities. I never, I never, I never had, had, had any responsibilities. But then I went off to college. But then, then I, I went, went, off went off to college. 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 I know what you mean. I know what you mean. What you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. I was I really was immature, really immature when, I when, I when I was a teenager. Immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? So, so what, what made, made you change? You change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job. I think I, I, think I, I became mature after I got my first job. My first job. Yeah. And moved away from home. And moved away, and moved from, away, home. away from, from home. home. So notice this is mature, mature, not mature. It's not mature, but mature. Mature, mature, mature. 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 Once I had a job, once I had a job, I became totally independent. I became totally independent. Where did you work? What did, you, did, work? You, work? did you work? Did you work? I worked from for my dad at the bank. I worked, I worked for, for my dad, my dad at, at the bank. My dad at the bank. Good, excellent. All right, very good. So what I want you to do, guys, to do, I'm going to be sending you this um this conversation and through the WhatsApp. And I'm going to put you guys into breakout rooms so that you can practice this conversation with a partner. Okay. All right. Um, so just All give right. me a moment while I send you the okay, please tell me if you can see the conversation. Can you see the conversation? Yes. Sorry, where do you send it? Sorry, I don't see the no. conversation. Yeah. You don't see it? Yeah, it's in the WhatsApp group. Can you yeah. check your WhatsApp? Yeah, it's in the WhatsApp group. Do you see it? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to um, make breakout rooms and you guys can go ahead and and practice a conversation with your partner. Okay. All right. Okay, just a second. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm opening the rooms right now. Uh, Joanna, Vanessa. Joanna, Vanessa, are you able to join? Joanna, Vanessa. I never, I never had important responsibility, but but then I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? <clears throat> I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I had a job. I became totally independent. Where did you work? I worked for, for my dad at the bank. Okay. Now we can change, like you can uh, start and I'll respond. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, beginning, I beginning me. Sorry. Uh, oh, another twist. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, what were you like when you were ju younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of responsible. You really what what made you change? Graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduated, I I never had any important responsibilities, but then I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature. When I was ten years. So, what made you change? I think I become more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I had a job, I become total independent. Where did you work? I work my for my dad at the bank. Nice. Okay. Okay, just uh be careful um with the word teenager. Teenager. Yeah, teenager. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll send you I'll see you back in the main room in a moment. Teacher. Oh. Hello. Oh. We're bringing oh, everybody good. back um, to the main room, okay? So don't worry if you had a problem con with the connection, it's okay. Uh, 
Okay, I think I have everybody back, right? Okay, so um, questions about pronunciation. For example, the word responsibilities mm -hmm. that have A, E, and S is uh, the pronunciation is similar when have Y, like responsibility or responsibilities? Responsibilities. Responsibilities. Okay. Yes, responsibilities. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, any other questions? Any other questions? No question, teacher. No teacher, no doubt. Teacher. No, it's okay. Okay, perfect. All right, let me share then my screen. Please tell me if you can see my screen. Yeah, we can see yes. yours. Okay, perfect. So these are what we call time clauses. Uh, what time clauses are is they are clauses or are part of the of the sentence that tells us information about the main idea, okay? Um, and specifically tells us when the main idea happened. So um, to, to um, make it even clearer, let me uh, give you examples here. So we have, um, before I had my first job, I was really immature. Now, the main, sen the main part of the sentence here is, I was really immature, okay? Now, the question is, when were you immature? At what moment were you immature? Well, the first part of the sentence gives us the answer. And the answer is, before I had my first job. That was the moment that I was really immature. That tells me when this activity happened. So remember, basically the time clauses tell us when the activity is happening. In this case, it's to be immature, okay? And the word that that um, the subordinator, the, the, the connector that tells us this information in this case is before. Does that make sense? Yes, it's true. Yeah. Okay, so this tells me when I was mature. And then and it's when it was is before, before what? Before I had my first job. Okay, so in all of these, you will notice that basically we are um we have the main the the main um clause. Uh which is in this case, for example, after I got my first job, I became more, more mature. This would be the main idea. I became more mature. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Here, the main idea is I became totally independent. Um, this one, I felt uh, the moment I moved away from home, I felt like a different person. Here, this is the main idea. As soon as I got my own bank account, I started to be more responsible. This is the main idea here. 
Um, until I graduate, I never had any important responsibility. This is the main idea here. And by the time I graduated from high school, I had already started working. This is the main idea. Now, if for whatever reason you're having problems identifying what the main idea is, it's basically just think of it like, just ask yourself the question, um, which of the parts of the, which part of the, of the sentence is the part that is, that is complete, that I don't need more information, that um, I don't like, I don't, it's, it's, it's complete on its own. So for example, if I take the first sentence, before I had my first job, is that a complete idea? No. No, right? No. It's not a complete idea. No. But if I say I was really immature, is that a complete idea? Yes. Yeah, that's yes. a complete idea. Yes. Okay. So this then has to be the main idea. So the time clause is this part right here before I had my first job. Okay. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because it is possible to do it around, to put it around. I could say I was really immature before I had my first job. So the time clause doesn't always have to be at the beginning. The, you can decide to put the, the time clause at the beginning or at the end. Okay. Now, something, another way that you can identify the time clause is because it contains the subordinator. In this case, before, here, after, this one once, here, the moment, as soon as, until, and by the time. Those are what we call subordinators or connectors. They are connecting the two, the two time clauses. But the problem with this one is that um, in these sentences, the connector is at the beginning. So because the connector is at the beginning of the sentence, then we always have to use a comma to connect the two clauses here. If the time clause was after, it would not be necessary to put a comma. Does that make sense, what I just said? So to give you an example, in this sentence, before I had my first job, I was really immature. If I were to rewrite the sentence, it would look like this. I was really immature. I was really immature before I had my job. Okay, so I could say it like this. I was really mature before I had my first job. So again, we identify what is the main idea. Well, we can either think of it like which part is complete. I don't need more information. Or you can simply identify the time clause. And remember, the time clause is, starts always with a subordinator. So it's right here, before I had my first job. That's the time clause. Now, so if that's a time clause, then the other part is the, the main clause. I was really immature. Now, in this case, I do not need a comma. And the reason I don't need a comma is because here, the subordinator or the connector is in the middle. So it's connecting the two clauses together. Does that make sense? 
Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right. So in that case, I'm going to, oh, hold on. So in that case, I'm going to get you guys to do some exercises here. Um, let's make this smaller. Oh. Okay. So the instructions um, set. The instruction says. Match the clause in column A with an appropriate, with the appropriate information in column B. Now, more than one answer is possible, so you can decide what would be best. So, for example, by the time I was fifteen, and then you can decide what makes more sense. So, what do you guys think? By the time I was fifteen. What can we say after? I realized that I wasn't a child anymore. Maybe. I had learned how to take care of myself. Could be, yeah. So there are, there are a number of possibilities, right? Um, I realized that I wasn't a child anymore. Or... Um, No, I have learned how to take care of myself, really. Yeah. Yes, I have learned how to take care of myself. Yes. Yeah. I had learned how to take care of myself. So do you see, there are more than one possibility here, but um, I want you to choose the one that makes more sense to you. Okay, so go ahead and complete that part. And the second, I have never saved any money. Okay, we'll, we'll check in a moment, okay? I, right now, I'm gonna give a chance for everybody to just try it out and then we're, we'll check together. Okay. So remember one more than one answer is possible. Not really, teacher, I just for one. Hmm? You only one found one? <laughs> Maybe.
Okay. Are we ready to check? Yes, teacher. Yeah, everybody? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Yes. All right, so let's check. All right, so um, until I started working part-time, what could you say? I have never saved any money. I had never. Um, the little G. The letter G. Okay, I had never saved any money. Okay, any others? No. no. Just this. Okay. The moment I got my first paycheck. Letter, letter B. B. Letter B. I began to understand the value of money. Okay, I began to understand the value of money. Any others? No. Okay. Um, as soon as I left home, I relate. I relate says realize, that I wasn't a child, child anymore. anymore. Okay. Letter D. I realized I wasn't a child anymore. Any others? Yeah. No. No? No. Okay. Once I started sharing an apartment, I learned how, I learned to, get how to get along better, better, with, along people. better with people. Letter F. Okay. I learned how to get along with better better with people. Okay, any others? No. It, I, I guess in a, in a way, maybe this one could also possibly be a possibility. I learned this how to communicate the... better, right? No, this for the next one. Yeah, remember, it says more than one answer is possible. So it's, I mean, there's always going to be more than, like, I mean, it depends, right? It depends on on the on each person, so it's it would be okay. 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 All right. Next one after Just I begin a relationship, huh? I learned how to communicate commun commun communicate better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I learned how to communicate better. Any others? Mm. No? Okay. Um, before I traveled abroad. I didn't appreciate, I, my, I own. Didn't didn't appreciate my own, my own country. country. Good. I didn't appreciate my own country. No. Nope. I lost. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. I didn't appreciate my own country. Anything else? No. Mm -hmm. no. Um I mean like there's more there's always more than one answer. So you could say, technically speaking, you could say before I traveled abroad. Um I learned how to communicate better. Yeah. Maybe. Um there will be teamwork. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before I traveled abroad, I began to understand the value of money, right? Because to travel abroad, you have to save money. So maybe you can do that. Um, you can even do this one too. Before I traveled abroad, I had never saved any money. Could be. Oh, all right, and last one. Um, until I I got really sick. I didn't I understand. I had understood the importance of good, good health. Right. <laughs> good. I hadn't understood the importance of good health. 
right? Um, it's also possible this one too. Until I got really sick, I had never saved any money. Um, so, you know, when you get sick, you need money. Yeah, myself. You, you need to, you, you need money to go to the hospital and the doctor. Okay. All right, guys. So that will be all for today. We're going to um, stop there and uh, we will see each other tomorrow. I understand that the situations right now are not easy for everybody, but I do appreciate that you make the, the effort for connecting. So um, we will be having class tomorrow. It's on Thursday that we won't be having class. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Okay. So I will see you guys tomorrow and um, take care. All right. Thank you. Take care. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Have a good one. Have a good day. Take Thank care. You. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.